uh, Lustberger, Lusty Burger. So I'm not real sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, but we know, uh, you know, from reading these, these, I don't know what I'm going to say, he's a prophet of the Lord, because obviously anything associated with Catholicism uh, has always been used uh, as a tool for the devil. And, you know, everything surrounds it, everything about it is evil. And a lot of people going by this St. Malachi's, uh, Malachi's prophecies, and what he would say, what he has predicted is, is that the last pope would be the last one. Uh, the one coming up uh, would carry the name Peter Romanus, uh, and that he would come from the olive. Has to do with the olive, I don't know, you know, the olive branch and all this. And that's the Benedictine order. And but then you can also read Martini into that because you know you think of olives when you think of a martini. And it'd be either one of these. And that would be the last one. And, you know, it's something interesting that he said that I already posted on my site last week in an article I wrote about it. Because I really felt Catholicism was just over. That we weren't going to have another pope uh, walk in and, and step into the shoes of Pope John Paul II and continue this whole thing with the Catholic facade. I really just think it's over. You know, and, and that's my feelings on it. And he pretty much said the same thing, and, and that shocked me, you know, reading his material just today, uh, was that he just he just thought uh, Catholicism after this next pope would just basically be over. And, and so I know a lot of people think, uh, you know, that, you know, it's got to, it's, it's going to rule the world. And, and the Illuminati has set aside that position, uh, as the pope to be the false prophet to fulfill the role of the second beast. And this is from them themselves, nothing prophetic, it's nothing biblical, it's just something that these Illuminatus have appointed, whether they're right on line, in alignment with prophecy. Uh, but they, but they have said that, that the Pope will fulfill the second beast, the role that he will, he will combine all world religions under one and, and run it from there. And, and we know that the Vatican is going to be destroyed. And so, it can't be run from there. And another thing also is that, you know, there's one billion Islams, Muslims, and there's one billion Hindu Indians, and, and there's just so many different religions out there. Uh, and they try to say there's a billion Catholics, but the last numbers I ever read on it was that there was only 500 million. And so it's not even the most dominant. And the most dominant probably today is the Muslims, is the Islamic religion. And that's something the Pope created, the Jesuits had created years ago. And, and they kind of, I, I think they just lost control of it. You know, they, they created, they set up Muhammad to be a prophet. He didn't, you know, they had, uh, there was some connection with his wife, with the Jesuits. And so they had her convince him uh, that he was divine, uh, that he was hearing from the Lord, that he was having prophetic visions and, and you know, not visions, but that he was revelations for the fact that he was hearing from God. Muhammad himself thought it was a jinn, and it, and it was his wife set up by the Jesuits to walk in and convince him that it was God, and and the whole thing was set up by Rome, and, and so uh, they've always sat back in the background in total control of the, in, in to, you know in control of, of having started this whole Islamic religion. Uh, but I think they've lost lost control of it because, you know, the um, Muslim alliance with the Russians could very well be the one that destroys America, could very well be a, a, a powerful uh, source to reckon with in the last days. Uh, listener line 260-356-2611. Go ahead and call in with your questions if you want to. Uh, I wrote an article this week on the second coming of Christ. Uh, being transformed by the Omegan crowd is the second coming of Christ, and that's plural. And, you know, yeah, we were warned throughout the ages there would always be those calling themselves Christ or gods on earth. And, and we've had these people parading earth throughout several times in history. Uh, they were legends of their own mind. They called themselves Christ or gods, and everybody else just would consider them as gurus. And, uh, you know, I was trying to put together the pieces on why we have so many beasts and where do they go. And uh, one of the things that, that was made clear to me this week is that they're not going to come one by one. They're all going to come at the same time. You know, they're all working together. Uh, I've been trying to figure out where to put them, who was going where, who was doing what. Uh, and so 
Got some information this week uh, from the horses themselves. I talked to one of the main channelers of Sananda, a very nice woman, just very deceived. And, and you know, she gave me a, kind of a, a layout of the things that they believe in and what's coming in. And, uh, you know, the, the, the layout that they have uh, with Sananda, Maitreya, and Jermaine is that Maitreya will be working uh, to deceive the Russians and the billion Buddhists. You know, he's going to be over on the east, and that's pretty much where he's been. Of late, uh, you know, we came down uh, last year. He was in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, working the African crowd as, as Maitreya, as the Messiah. And, and so he's pretty much going to stay over there, I guess, uh, deceiving the Russians uh, and the Buddhists and, and probably a big bulk of the Arabs as well. Muhammad will supposedly return to continue brainwashing the Muslims. Uh, Sananda, who has taken upon himself the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, and I Am, uh, will represent Christ Michael, who plays the role of Father in God. And he'll be in charge of the West. He'll be deceiving the West. And he's probably the one that's going to descend from heaven in this blue beam project, if they play it that way, or he just comes in a UFO. I'm not sure how they're going to bring him in. Um, but he would come in as, as Jesus the Messiah. And, of course, they don't refer to God as, as the Most High like we do. Uh, they refer to him as Christ Michael, and they say that there's many of these Christ Michaels. And so we can see that, that with the entrance of one, we're going to have an entrance of many of them. Uh, they say that Sananda is actually a person's title and rank. Uh, that therefore it can be earned. It can, there can be many Sanandas. And the false Jesus coming is just one Sananda. And this paves the way for possible more deceptions around the world whose religions are waiting for a returning Messiah, and most of them are. Most of them have been set up to where everybody's waiting for a returning Messiah. And, and so that these Sanandas are going to accommodate those roles in these different religions. You know, a Sananda will just step in and accommodate them and claim to be that particular religion's, religion's Messiah. And uh, as far as Jermaine goes, also one of these deceivers, he'll be in charge of implementing the Sarah around the globe. Uh, that's going to be basically his, his role. And so how long uh, they parade across the world stage, it's hard to say. Uh, it's, it's hard to say if these are just distractions, if these are just the beginning, and then they all go away and get destroyed and something else comes up and happens. We really don't know. It's really hard to say. You know, so just keep your eyes open on stuff. That's pretty much what I like to do is just prepare people on what's coming ahead and what's happening. You know, I wrote an article this week, Is the Next Pope the False Prophet? And uh, you can see this article at uh, SherryShriner.com. What I did was I started a commentary corner. <coughs> and I'm just posting, <laughs> instead of writing long articles on stuff, just posting commentaries on daily events or what's going on in the news community, what the buzz is. A little bit more informal in, than articles. And so I, I posted stuff this week, started doing that this week, SherryShriner.com. Uh, in verse, John, in uh, verse 11, you know, if you look at uh, uh, Revelation chapter 13, it talks about the second beast, the false prophet. And John describes seeing a beast coming out of the earth. And he says, and, and I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And, and what this symbolizes is what he sees as a man of, of Israelite lineage rising up out of the earth. Uh, because out of the earth has always signified in symbolism the Jewish people, which are um, basically the Judahites or, the, or Israelites. Uh, they are the natives of the earth. And, uh, you know, the most of those today that are claiming to be Jews are Edomite Jews. And then they're not real bloodline Jews, they're fake line Jews. And this, this scripture just details that he will claim.